Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, Mr. Peterson. My name is Corey, and I'm going to be your student nurse today. Can you tell me your name and birthday? Kevin Peterson, 9376. Okay, perfect. So your doctor has ordered a catheter, uh, an IV catheter, to have in, inserted so that we can put some fluids in you. Have you ever had an IV before? Several. Okay, good. So the first thing I need to do is uh, provide for privacy and I need to do hand hygiene. So you've had a catheter, IV catheters before. So which arm do they typically use for those? They usually use my left one. Your left one? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and look at both of them just to be sure. So that's a pretty good one. Do they usually do it on the outside? No, usually underneath. Okay. All right, and then let me look at the other arm here. You've got one there, but that one kind of bothers me a little bit. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and go with your left, okay? Okay. All right, so I have my supplies here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready. So I have my saline for my flush, I have my IV here, and then I have my kit and my tubing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open my kit. And it has my bandage in it that's gonna go over the top of it. It has my iodine, my tape. Um, it also has the um, alcohol and the wipes. And then it has the um, tourniquet. And then I'm gonna open my tubing next. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my flush to my tubing and I'm gonna prime it so it's ready to go. So there's a little bit of air in this syringe so I'm gonna get rid of that first so that I don't put any into my patient. And then I'm gonna get my alcohol and I'm going to clean my tubing before I connect it. Oh, dang it, I did it again. I used the wrong side. That's the side that connects to the IV tubing once that's in place. This is the side for the IV. So now I'm going to prime that. And when you prime it, all you're doing is putting fluid into the tubing so that when you connect the IV, you're not putting air into the patient. So it's primed now. So I'm gonna place that right there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put my gloves on. Okay, so I have a really good vein right here that I think I'm gonna use. It feels really good. So I'm gonna get my iodine out. Now with the iodine, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in circles. That wasn't supposed to happen. So I'm gonna go in circles and I'm gonna start at my insertion point where I find that the IV is the best. And I'm gonna go outwards from there for 30 seconds. So. And this just cleans the area, it gets all of the bacteria and any dirt or anything like that that would be on the area where the uh, IV is gonna go. All right, so then we're gonna let that dry and then we'll go ahead and get started with this. So this is my IV insertion, this is my catheter. And 
it is a 20 gauge that I'm going to use for this procedure. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cap off and I'm going to put my tourniquet on the patient. And when I went to find the vein the first time I did have this um, connected, the IV or the tourniquet was on the patient. So I'm just going to put this on the patient's arm, wrap it around, not too tight though, and it will stay on until I have the IV in place. So now when I go to do this, I'm looking for my bevel and my bevel will go up when it goes into the arm. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use my thumb to pull down on the, on the vein to make sure that it's nice and taut. All right, here we go. One, two, three, there. Okay. All right, that's perfect. So now I will loosen my tourniquet. I'm gonna hold right here so that I don't have any blood coming out. I did get a flash when I did that. So now I'm going to release the needle and all that will be left in there is the catheter part. And that went. So now I'm going to hold right here and I'm gonna put this into my um, biohazard container where my sharps go. Now I am going to connect my tubing. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this connector and I'm going to put this in here and tighten it and now I'm going to flush the IV to make sure that it's good. When I connected my my uh, flush here I did uh, make sure that the seal was locked. So now I'm going to make sure that it's unlocked. Okay so Please let me know if you feel anything when this is going in. Does that hurt? No. No burning or anything? No. Good. All I can do is taste it. Okay. Yeah. That is one of the side effects. All right. So we're good there. So I'm going to disconnect my, two, my uh, flush here. Actually, I'm going to put my bandage on first. So this is a clear gauze or a clear dressing that I'm going to put on here. And the reason it's clear is so that I can make sure that there's nothing wrong with the IV at any time that I need to look at it. This dressing also contains a little piece that you put on the IV or on the dressing itself that gives you the ability to put your initials so they know who put it in, the date that it was put in so that you know when it's time to redo it, and the gauge of the needle, which is a 20 gauge. There we go. So I'm just gonna pull this off and it will be placed on the side of the dressing, just like that. All right, so we're not gonna hook anything up yet. The doctor is still trying to figure out what he's gonna um, want me to put in. So I'm just gonna disconnect this for now and we will just leave it right here I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on here just to make sure that that doesn't get pulled out. Are you doing okay right now? Yep. It doesn't hurt? Not at all. Okay, good. All right, so I will come back as soon as the doctor has those orders finished and we'll go ahead and get this taken care of, all right? Okay. So if you have any questions, you be sure to let me know, okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean my things up here. And then as soon as I get those orders, I will come back and we'll get that taken care of. So now I will do hand hygiene. And your call light is right to the left of you. Okay. So if you do have any questions or if this starts to hurt, please let me know. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, Mr. Peterson. It's your nurse, Corey. Hi. I am here to remove the catheter. You're getting ready to go home. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and take that out for you. Can you tell me your name and birthday? Kevin Peterson, 9376. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, we're working on your discharge orders right now. So I'm going to go ahead and provide for privacy. And I'm going to do hand hygiene here. And then I'm going to get that catheter taken out. Okay. 
So you know that when the catheter comes out, when the IV tubing comes out, there is a little bit of bleeding. So I'm gonna have you hold the gauze that I'm gonna give to you for um, about 30 seconds, and then we'll check it just to be sure that there isn't any um, extra bleeding that's going on, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna put my gloves on here real quick. And I'll be as gentle as I can because I do know that there's some, the tape is on your hair, on your arm. So I'll be careful with that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this um, dressing that's on here and I'm going to remove it, but I'm not going to remove the catheter at this point. So I just want to get it all in one place so that when I'm ready to do this, it comes off nice and easy. Sorry about the hair. No, it's all right. Oh, did I get some skin on that one? A little bit. Sorry. No, you're good. Okay. So I'm going to put this gauze dressing on here. I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And I'm going to place this right where this catheter is going to come out. Okay? Okay. All right. So here we go. One, two three. There we go. Okay. You got it? Yep. All right. Thank you. So now I'm looking at this IV. It's a 20 gauge and the catheter that's in here is nice and intact. It's the one inch that I put in. So everything looks good. So I'm going to put that into my sharps container there. And let me take a look here. You got it? I got it. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on here. And when you get home, I need you to make sure that you leave this on for about 20 minutes. Okay. And then if it's done bleeding, you can take it off, okay? Alrighty. All right, how does that feel? Wonderful, thank you. Okay, good. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up my area here. Take my gloves off. I'm gonna do hand hygiene. Your call light is to your right. It shouldn't be too much longer before we have those discharge papers ready to go, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You let me know if you need anything. All right. Thank you.